Today on Low Carb with Jennifer, I'm gonna show you how to make this Tex-Mex chicken and veggies. Hey guys, welcome back to Low Carb with Jennifer. Let's get started with this recipe because it is delicious. So we've got a large skillet. We're gonna start with our veggies for our chicken and veggies. We're gonna start with a tablespoon of avocado oil. I've got my skillet on about medium to medium high heat. I'll probably put it medium. We're going to cook a medium diced onion, three cloves of minced garlic, and a medium bell pepper. All of that diced up. We're gonna cook it in our avocado oil for about five minutes until our vegetables are just, you know, getting soft, just about soft. Okay, our onions and peppers are starting to soften. So I'm gonna add two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs that have been diced into bite-sized pieces, pieces about one inch or so. Got my heat on medium-high heat. And I'm also going to add one and a half tablespoons of taco seasoning. You can use whatever taco seasoning. You can make your own taco seasoning. It doesn't matter, store-bought is fine. So we're gonna cook this for about five more minutes. Okay, this is looking good. So now we're going to add two medium chopped zucchini and a 14 ounce can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. So now we're gonna let these all cook and come together for about 10 minutes, we want our chicken to get all cooked all the way through. We want our zucchini to get nice and tender, and then we'll finish this off. Okay, look at this masterpiece we've got here of our chicken, Tex-Mex chicken and veggies. We're gonna finish it off with a quarter of a cup of chopped cilantro. I love cilantro. So if you don't like cilantro, just leave it out. And we've got one and a half cups of Colby Jack cheese shredded. So we're gonna sprinkle that on top. Okay, it is done. My favorite thing to do with this recipe is to divide it out into six um, meal prep containers. And then this is my lunch for a whole week. It is so good, it reheats really nicely. So yeah, let's try a bite. And I know the cheese isn't melted, but the residual heat will melt it. If you want, you could pop it under the broiler to, you know, get it melted, but I don't mind. That was a very big hot bite, but it is delicious. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure you check out this recipe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.